Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am does this, welcome or welcome back to another Evolving Skies booster box opening. My first box was a decent hit, so hopefully we can get a better hit out of this one. Alright, so let's start things off. Got the Dragon Knife, hopefully it's gonna bring me that Rayquaza lock again, or well, not even again, this time. Let's crack this thing open. Pull the cups out, left side. Are they in the shop? Yep, that's it. Alright, before we start, it's crystal ball time. Let's turn this thing on. If it wants to turn on, there we go. If the light turns green, when I ask it if I'm gonna get alternates or secret rares, it tells me I'm gonna get a yes. If it turns red, that's a no. So, crystal ball, crystal coco ball. Will I get any alternate arts or secret rares in this pack? Booster box. And that's a green. You can actually see it. So, Crystal Bull says I'll be getting some. Let's see if it was lying or not. So, first pack from the left. Cool card. Pull from the back. Treasure energy. Taking gloves. The toad. Swab blue. Speed up. Move back. Eevee. Temple. Stormy mountains. And a hollow right you as the first hit. Not too bad. I could take that. Can add it to my set. Charizard sleeves. So, first hollow of the pack. Booster. Next pack. So, guys. Oh, damn it, I just messed up. Yeah, guys, so, so far, what guys have, what have you guys pulled? Have you pulled any good hits? Pulled any of your chase cards? Alternates? Secret rares? Or anything that is big? Let me know down in the comments down below. Third pack. So my chase cards. I mean, of course I'll take any of the big hits. Anyone would. But my chase cards are the full art alternate. Wait, is it even alternate? No, it's a full art Suicune. The alternate. Not even the full art. And the Dragonite alternate full art. Pull any of those in this booster box, I will be a happy man. Hold up. That was two cold cards. What the? One, two, three, four. That was two. What the frick? Also, Moon and Sun Badge, Twin Catcher, Teddy Osa, Marie. 
Throw. Tentacle. Up it. Save lie. And let me load it. Let me just double check. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 cards. And I've got two core cards. Wow. Okay. And nothing in this one. Two, three, four. What in the kind of pack is this? Alright. Shogun, Ice Cube, Full Face Card, Tentacle, Dino, Puppet, Marie, Bob Effect, Reverse Pikachu, Yahoo! and. Woo hoo hoo! Our first secret rare, Crystal Cave. Oh, yes. Nice. Centering down there is the cotton. This is a bit weird. Don't know if you can see it there. Slightly angled. Why are all the gold cards that I get angled? The frick. Alright, I will take that. First secret rare of the booster box. Only five packs in, I think. And we've got our first secret rare gold card. You're in there. Nice. Pull from the back. And the jumper. Crap, just fumbled it. He just gave me two call cards again. What the with this pack one two three four so maybe i'm gonna get in here in this one a holo maybe or two cold cards hopefully something good or oh, this one will be crap and the next one will be a hit got settler lombre and uh Neuven v <sighs> is that good news is that good news Hopefully you're going to give me your alternate art as well. If I get the alternate Noven in this pack, in this booster, that will be my chase card called within two boosters. Or my number one chase card anyway. Will my luck be on the good side? Will the Pokeball tell a lie or tell the truth? Actually, wait, it told half a truth with the secret rare anyway, so far. Gloves and the Sharpie though. The 
If it tells the full truth, then I should be getting a nice alternate pull art as well. No call cool card, this one. One, two, three, four. And the hollow salamence. Nice. In terms of hollows, the one I want the most is the Entei. And I guess with the, the birds. The hollow Entei and all the birds for my hollows. Oh, just playing the mic, sorry about that. about past halfway on the left side did it again I keep getting bloody two cold cards in every other pack See a little black there. It's gonna be a V card at the back of this one. It's a uh, Golurk V. E. Nice, nice. Sun Spring in this booster, I think, is gonna be terrible as well. So far so good, no double ups from my first booster. Touch wood. Fighting, vigor, treasure energy, fluffy, my first fluffy at least. The God Fluffy. And Ampros. Double cold card again. Reverse Jincho. Oh, oh, oh. Is a full art? Is there alternate art? Come on, come on. Yahoo! Yes! 
Oh my. I pulled it. I pulled it. The full up Rayquaza. It's not the alternate art, but it's the full up Rayquaza. Oh yes. I see whitening, I think, on the top. Centering is okay, I guess. On the back. Yeah, that's okay. In the front, it's a little bit off on the right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Now that is a hit. Definitely. The ray. Full art. Yes. So I've had a secret rare and a full art requaza. Oh yes. I can't be as excited as I'd like to be and bloody scream the house down but it's like 4 30 in the morning in the UK. People are sleeping, so I can't scream and shout as I wake people up. One, two, three, four. The only reason I'm recording at this late hour is because the street that I live on, there's a lot of noise going on. And I'd rather not let you guys have an earful of background noise going on throughout this whole video while I'm opening packs. So, 4 o'clock in the morning is my best bet. Ontario. But depending on what I pull, if I pull one of the big hitters on my chase, I might just have to risk it all. Wake up the whole neighborhood. One, two, three, four. I mean, getting that recalls or speaking of legendaries, what are you guys' favorite legendaries? Reverse, God Fluffy. And a shift tree. Yeah, from all of the generations, to be honest, I don't know all of them because I haven't been keeping up after I think, Gen 3, Gen 3, and then X and Y. So I know up to Gen 3, and then I know Evelthal, and um, what was the other one? I completely forgot what the other one. Xerneas, that's the one, Xerneas. Yeah, now of all of those, my favourites, of course, from I think Gen 2, was it? Or was it Gen... Yeah, Gen 2 would be the Legendary Dogs, of course. And now of those, I think I'd choose Regilecki Holo. I'd probably choose Entei. If not Entei, Raikou. Raikou. Right, next half of the pack. First half was great, and then from Gen 1, of course Mewtwo, and then Gen 3 would be Groudon. So my top Four legendaries, Mewtwo, Groudon, Rayquaza, and Riku. Had a little bit of a technical issue there. Hopefully things are fine now. So you might see a little cut or skip in the time loop. But luckily, it happened before I started on this pack, did I even do the bloody card trick? No, I didn't. Alright, so just as I opened this pack, bloody had a technical issue and my PC decided to want to go to sleep. And I forgot what I was talking about.
think it was on the legendaries. Drop this. Yep, so those are my favorite legendaries. Let me know down in the comments down below what yours are. And if you've played all the games. I mean, I think from what I can remember, I've played definitely hardcore. I went hardcore for from Gen 1 to 3. Really hardcore in those full on collections, shinies, breeding, the whole shebang. Um, favorite from Gen 1, of course, I think even from all the gens from Gen <laughs> Full Art V Alternate Medicham. Crystal Ball, you was not lying. Crystal, oh yes. Yes! Oh my! Centering is poor again, but it's an alternate part. Yes! Medicham, but nonetheless, still an OR for V. I'm fumbling my words, right? It's bloody supposed to be a V. We'll open it up. That's the one. Are you on the screen? Yeah. Many champ can go down there. I didn't even put the top loader. Oh yes. Now this. This is a box. I like it. I like it. Code card. One, two, three, four. Yeah, in terms of the starters, of course, I think all of them I chose the fire type or Charmander, Cyndaquil, and what was Blaziken's Torchic? Yeah. When it came to Gen 3, and I think Ruby Sapphire. Was it Gen 2? No, it's Gen 2. Between Syndicate and Toledo, I was tall. I like both of them. But I've always been the fire type starter. So I always chose the fire types. Team Ruby and Sapphire. That was the legendary dogs, right? No, it was it was Gen Two, Silver and Gold, where those legendary dogs came, right? Chasing those dogs it was a beep beep beep. Polo Ente, yes, I will take that. Nice, another one. There we go. It's only a hollow version, but I think I just got my favorite version of the legendary dogs in a hollow. Nice. My holo luck in these boosters seem to be good. Not really any doubles and I'm getting a lot of them. After this set, Celebrations, which is looking like a no-go for me probably because 
everywhere I've checked, out of stock, pre-orders are just flying off. If I naturally get my hands on them, celebrations will be the next set. But I open up on the channel hopefully. If not, depending on one second, sorry. Depending on if I even get any. If I can get if I get the what, the Elite Trainer box, the premium collection, and then the Pikachu, the figurine one, I think I'll probably end up keeping that as a sealed collection. Maybe open it for the channel. But if I can only get one of those, I think I'd rather just keep them sealed. But in terms of maybe the tins, just to open up some packs. Probably get the tins just to open up some packs because that's the only thing that's actually available right now. Pretty much, I haven't pre ordered any yet. But if I have to, I will. And then the Dracovolt, Dracozolt, what was it? The dragon, the dragon thing, those are still around. I might not go for, go for those, I'm not too, too sure yet. And then after that, we've got the Fusion Strike set, which is looking like it's going to be bigger than this one. So if I'm going for the Master set on this, it's going to be a lot on my wallet, in my bank account, to be able to go for the Master set of Fusion and Evolving Skies. Woo! Also, I was looking at the quality and the condition of these cars as well. I want to grade some, but probably won't happen. I mean, if I get good quality on the up, I probably will try and grade them. At least want to grade that Batman card if I can get a good quality. Well, double up of tentacle. If I can get a good quality version of that, I definitely would want to grade that. To be honest, I'll be happy with a nine grade. To be honest, and uh, crazy throw again. If you watch my last video, go and watch my last video just for this card that I pulled nostalgia and stupidness. To be honest. Hollows Roark, nice. Another one added to the set. Wow, can't believe it in this booster box. I haven't got any doubles. Touch wood, don't do it to me now. I've got the good hits and no doubles. I like this box. I like this box. Five ultra rare so far. Hmm, this looks like it could be a bit low average box to be honest, even though I've got some good hits. In my last one, I managed to get eight hollows. I think it was eight hollows and eight ultra rares.
Rush of Lido and a Ambion V, nice. Okay, so there's another V, that's six. It looks like all of the cards that I've been getting in terms of centering are always off on this side. All of the Fallouts and VMAXs that are going in my other box, it was literally more like a millimeter off from the edge. Another double call card. Packs left. Duraladon, Umbreon, and Rayquaza. Let's go with Rayquaza. Hypno and the Gorgeist. Let's go with your other Leave the Ambient to lost. And the floor G's holo. Yeah. Not a single double up of hollows apart from that from my last box, the Galarian Zapdos. That was the only double up I got. Apart from that, no double ups. Nice. Last pack, Ambion. Again. Will Ambion. Give me last pack magic. It's a VMAX. It's a VMAX. It's a Glaceon VMAX. Nice. Centering is off on this side now. Yep. So if it's not the if it's not this side, it's that side. The hell? I'll take this though. Very nice. Very very nice. All right. So that was last pack magic. Umbreon came through with a Glaceon. I'll put that there for now. So, a little recap. So, Lorgia's Hollow, Rora Cola, Entei, Salamence. And a right tree. That's five hollows.
place you on VMAX. Secret Rare Crystal Cave. Oh, and to me, probably the, the best hit of this booster. Rayquaza Full Art. Yes. Nice. And Manicham V Alternate Art. And for the V's, Umbreon, Noivan, and a Golok. How many hits is that? Seven? Seven hits. So just about average or under average. But overall, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Alright, so that's the end of this booster box. If you like the hits that you saw, please leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.